Hey, it's Tina Forsyth here. So I probably get, at least a few times a week, I get emails from people asking me to be an affiliate, to join venture, to help them promote something, etc., etc. And I have to admit, you guys, nine times out of ten, these emails, these invitations are a huge turnoff for me. They're a huge turnoff for me. I just feel like the way that, that some of these requests and invitations are being approached is so off the mark in some cases and so I really wanted to share with you in this video today essentially how not to approach me if you want to have me become an affiliate or help you promote or whatever that is right so a few things first and foremost do not call it a partnership I that that is the thing that probably irks me the most is when I get an email from someone saying hey we're looking for partners to help us promote this launch or this teleclass or this video series or blah 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 and if you want to partner with us you just need to send two solo emails to your list and do a bunch of social media and yada 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 right that is not a partnership people you're asking me to be your affiliate you're asking me to promote stuff for you a partnership is a two-way street right don't sugarcoat the request under the word partnership because it's not Right? So it just that just annoys me. It's like if you want to ask me to be an affiliate, if you want to ask me to help promote something, then ask me to do that. Right? Be very upfront about it too. And likewise, don't frame it in a way that is like, you know, you got to help promote this because you're going to make some great money. Okay, you know what you guys, you cannot guarantee that to me. And even at the end of the day, making some great money is not going to be enough. I never promote something to my list because I might make some great money. Right? I only promote things to my list, I only share things with my community when it is from someone or from a business that I know, like, and trust. Right? That's the only time I'm going to do it. I'm never going to do it just for the money. So don't frame it from the perspective of you can make this much money and yada 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 and all that other kind of stuff. Because right? really, that's just not going to do it. That's just not going to be enough for that. Right? Don't ask me to speak at your telesummit just to get me to promote it to my list. You know, and believe me, guys, I understand the strategy of a telesummit being a great list builder and all that other kind of stuff. I know and understand that. I've done it before in the past. You know, but I know that there's quite often people are, are asking me to speak at a telesummit just strictly because you want me to promote it to my list, right? And here's the bottom line. Nowadays, it is rare, if ever, that I can send out a solo email or do some direct promotion for somebody's telesummit. I mean, our own schedule calendar, our own cross promotions and actual partnerships and things that we have going on. Um, for the most part, my marketing calendar is chock full. So, and I will very freely say this to someone too, even if the telesummit looks like a fit, you know, would love to support you, would love to participate as a speaker, and I can't promise a solo blast. You know, I can't promise to send one, two, however many emails, right? So if you still want me to speak based on that, that's fine. Um, but I'm not going to do that for you. I'm not going to be able to do that for you. You know, likewise, don't have your VA reach out to me to be a partner. You know, the other thing, too, that's a bit of a pet peeve of mine, um, I will partner with people based on the relationships. I mean, again, nine times out of ten, that's how my, those are the people who I'm going to promote. When you see me sending something out to you guys, it's usually because I know that person quite well and we have a relationship and we may not be bosom buddies, you know what I mean? But I know the person, I know their work, I respect them, etc. Those are the people I'm going to promote to you, right? And I believe I would much rather be approached by you directly to say, hey, we're doing this. Are you interested? Great. Yes. And then have you turn it over to your team. You know, don't get your VA. Don't get your whoever to call me. It's especially weird if I actually know you quite well already too and then suddenly I get so and so calling saying hey this person is doing something do you want to support them and I was like hey I know that person why don't they just ask me themselves you know it's kind of weird to me and believe me I get the idea obviously <laughs> of having a team and delegating and getting people to help you out but when it comes to getting to the yes in this in this scenario I would much rather hear from you as the entrepreneur you as the leader of the company right I want you to reach out to me and connect with me and then once we've said yes great I would love to support you turn it on over to your team let them take it from there right that's exactly what I would expect to happen at that point but I want to give the yes to you it needs to be based on this relationship this connection right if I have said yes to you then make it easy for me to promote make it easy for me to promote you you know send me materials send me tweets Send me emails, send me whatever it is that I've agreed to help you with. Um, don't expect me to make it up my own, on my own. You know, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm surprised at how often this happens where I have said yes to somebody and then I either don't get any material from them at all 
you know, saying, here's what you can use, etc. Or I'll get it like last minute. Like, hey, here's this. Can you send it today? Uh, no. <laughs> Nobody's confirmed this with me before. I'm not going to do a last minute whatever kind of thing, right? Make it easy for me to promote. Let me know. And so we can come to agreement on like the dates of sending something out or whatever it is. Make sure you get that to me ahead of time so that I can tweak it. I always edit and tweak and add my own spin to stuff when I'm promoting usually, right? So make it easy for me to do that. I'm not going to chase you down. If I've said yes to promote you, I'm not going to chase you down to do so. And just don't ask me to introduce you to other people who could help you promote this thing too. You know, again, it's just, I don't know, it just feels weird to me. Hey, we're doing this thing, blah, blah, blah. Do you want to do it? Or can you introduce me to some people? Or even worse than that, I have, I just thought of this one too. I think I got one of these a while back where it's like, hey, we're doing this program or we're doing this telesummit and yada, yada, yada. You know, we're looking for speakers. Who can you recommend? It's kind of like, you're not even asking me to speak. <laughs> you're asking me to tell you who you should have speak, right? Like, that's just weird. That's just weird to me, right? So that was another one too. It's like, don't ask me to introduce you. I'm not here to do the work for you. You know, if you want to get your own kind of affiliate promotion, you know, connections, JVs, etc., in place, then you need to build it from heart and you need to build it from purpose and you need to be real and really connect with people for the right reasons. You know, again, don't call it a partnership. Don't try to pull the wool over my eyes. And that being said too, there's some people out there where we very purposely connect. If I know, like, and trust them, I'm more than happy to help support what they have going on as long as it fits into the schedule of what we have going on. And likewise, I always want to look for ways to go scratch, you know, their back and they'll scratch mine or however that saying goes, you know, to make it a two-way street. At the heart of it, that's what a great affiliate, you know, scenario is about. That's what a great JV scenario is about, if you will, is being able to truly authentically do that. So some food for thought, you guys. I'm curious to hear from you too. What are the uh, biggest turnoffs? for you yourself in this whole area of how people approach you about being an affiliate or being a JV or whatever that might be, right? I would love to hear some of those so-called you know, horror stories. Maybe they're not horror stories. Maybe they're just annoying, but I would love to hear from you what those are. And until next time, it's Tina Forsyth. Take care. Bye now.